these are the top 10 amazing discoveries in Ireland. Number 10, Lochru. Lochru is a very important historical monument in Irish culture. It can be found near Old Castle County Meth in Ireland. This megalithic burial ground is actually one of three in Ireland, but it is the oldest. It dates back to 3500 and 3300 BC. The building is also of interest to archaeo astronomers because the entrances into the tunnel passages perfectly line up with the equinox sunrise. There hasn't been any comprehensive dating done to the site, so the 3500 to 3300 BC timeline is definitely an estimate. The Irish name for the site is actually Slibnach Kaluch, which translates to Mountain of the Hag. The legend surrounding the stones is that a giant hag was striding across the hills and she dropped the stone she was carrying. This tomb still sees regular visits from astronomy enthusiasts and believers in the mystics. Number 9. 4000 year old necklace. There is a very strange story behind this discovery. This special necklace is also known as Lunala and it was worn by one of the early kings of Ireland. It dates back to 2300 to 1800 BC. The necklace was first found in 1945 and it traded hands often until it ended up in the care of a chemist. He kept the necklace and several documents in his safe. In 2010, two men stole that safe and they eventually found and pled guilty for the theft. With the help of the police, curators from the National Museum's Irish Antiquities Division found the necklace and the rest of the stolen items in a dumpster where the thieves had stashed what they stole. The necklace was thankfully recovered before the dumpster was emptied and the police that helped with the case received an award for finding it. Number 8. Cloney Caven Man The Cloney Caven Man is an extremely well-preserved mummy that was found in a peat bag. The bogs naturally preserve the body so that bog bodies are always extremely well preserved. Only the body's torso and upper abdomen are preserved but it appears that they had crooked teeth and a squashed nose. The ascertained cause of death leads to theories of ritual sacrifice. It can be gathered from his hair that he was quite wealthy as there is evidence of hair gel preserved in his hair. The hair gel was made from plant oil and pine resin and it was manipulated to give him height, likely because he was only 5 foot 2. The body has been radiocarbon dated to be about 2300 years old. Number 7. Lin Du Hail. Lin Du Hail is the location of the Viking Long Port. It was discovered relatively recently in 2010. The Vikings also founded Dublin, but Lin Du Hail was abandoned because of changing tide patterns. The port wouldn't have been ideal for ships because the high tides would have made the sea inaccessible for much of the day. Regardless, the city was founded in 1841 AD and it's unknown when it was abandoned. The site was originally believed to be a Viking winter base, which would make it the third in Ireland. But after some investigation, it was discovered that it was where the Vikings repaired their ships and performed inland raids. A defensive rampart was discovered as well as Viking ship parts, Viking silver and Irish metalwork. They also found parts of a human skull. Number 6. Bog Butter What is bog butter? It's an ancient preserved food that is commonly found in Ireland. Discoveries of bog butter are nothing new really, but in 2010, 100 pounds of this rancid butter was found. The butter was dated to be an amazing 5,000 years old. The burying of butter in a keg or urn type capsule was once a common practice. The butter was flavoured with garlic and it was buried to preserve it because it was likely meant to only be eaten certain times of the year. This butter was discovered by a farmer where it was buried more than 7 feet deep. Although many people claim that the substance was a dairy smell, there is some debate about what the substance really is. Number 5. Ancient Forest You typically think of a forest as immortal places. But in 2014, the remains of a forest dating back 7,500 years was found along the Irish coast in Galway. The rediscovered forest was dubbed the Drowned Forest. The trees were revealed because of a series of storms that stripped away the rock and sand from the beach. Since the trees were found in their original location and largely intact, geologists think that the forest was buried quickly because of the rapid rise of sea levels that were common at that time. Geologists have found that buried forests in another part of Ireland and they think that the rediscovered forest should be the subject of special conservation. The forest will likely be covered up again in time because of the violent weather at the location. Number 4. Old Crowan Man 
The Old Crone Man is the name of another bog body that was found perfectly preserved, minus the head and lower body of course. That was actually the result of the man's cause of death though, he was found in 2003 and he was named after the Crone Hill which is near where he was found. The Old Cohen Man was found just three months after the Cloney Caveman as well. It's been estimated that Crone Man stood at 6.6 .6 feet in life, which is very rare for the time that he lived in, which was around 2,000 years ago. He's another suspected king because obviously the Celts went through a lot of them if they sacrificed them when the harvest didn't pan out. This assumption was further supported by his finely manicured nails and the placement of his body. Number 3. Pub Bones The modern Irish are descendants from the ancient Celts. This is a fact that has been generally accepted for quite some time. Recent mapping of the Irish genome and distinctly different skeletons might call this into question though. The skeleton was found outside a pub in 2006 and is dated back to 5,200 years. The recently mapped genome was tested on this skeleton and it found that the old skeleton is actually missing a lot of the indicators that would classify it as an ancient Celtic body. The DNA has more in common with modern Irishmen in fact. Because of the age of the body and the lack of Celtic indicators it might prove that there was an Irish population inhabiting the land long before the Celtics arrived. Number 2. Zombie Graveyards The two 8th century skeletons were found in 2011 with some strange burial customs. The two skeletons were buried with large stones in their mouth and because of this archaeologists theorized that whomever put them thought that they might come back as zombies. It's no secret that European people during the Middle Ages were a superstitious folk, but this practice is not only common for suspected zombies, but also vampires and victims of the Black Plague. Interestingly enough, although the two skeletons were buried together, they were actually buried some time apart. This is also special because their time of burial actually predates the time that scholars thought the revenant folklore emerged in Europe. Number 1. Fidan Mor Salter The Fidan Mor Salter is an ancient book of psalms that was discovered in 2006 in a bog in the town of Fadan Mor. The book is dated back to about 800 AD and it was probably written by one of the many monasteries that can be found nearby. The book is bound in leather and it is lined in papyrus, which might indicate a link between the Celtic Christianity and the Egyptian Coptic Church. The book was written in Latin and it was discovered open to Psalm 83. The bog had excellent conditions to preserve the book because of the lack of oxygen. The monks of that era actually often hid things inside bogs, surrounding them to protect their valuables for when Vikings invaded. The book went through years of preservation work before it could be put on display at the National Museum of Ireland in 2011.